Hello and welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to Subnautica Below Zero. Here we've returned for the fourth time in a row, or something like that, to show you parts unknown. Don't know where we're gonna go, but we're gonna get there. Nyom. So the sea glide is actually one of our favorite things in this game. Because once you have it, life is just super fun. I mean, when you're not running for your life or whatever. But uh, aside from that, it's super fun. It's got its own light on the front of it. So you never have to worry about being lost or in the dark. Oh my god, what is that? We're just gonna keep going. Let's let's not. And you know, hey, if if you really want to, let's even say we did it. A rebreather. We like rebreathers. We don't like the noise! No! Oh. It was just some dumb exploding thing. Oh, it is... quite pretty. All right. Oh, sorry guys for going silent there. We just kind of, kind of got spooked. This is a spooky game at night. Just kind of. Oh, well, we're actually super cool because we've got. I don't know more about these organic bridges, as they call them. They're giant octopus tentacles, dude. Just, just call them what they are. They're, they're stone tentacles. <clears throat> How do I make a rebreather? Yeah, teach us, almighty oh, rebreather teacher. Uh, we need fiber mesh and we need a wiring kit. Okay, how do we make a wiring kit? Two silver ore. Uh... Because that's definitely what we want to go back to and search for and waste our time over. Okay. So we just need two silver ore. Okay, we think we know where two silver ore could be. In very, very, very strict uh, theory. Like, uber strict. So, we're gonna cook up a couple of fish. And... Uh, Guess we're just gonna go do this. We guess. All right, let's see if we can find it. Right, it's, that's not the zoom out command anymore. Pretty far down, guys, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, no, that's... We've gone too far. That's not the place we were looking for. That's... All the way down. Hooray. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go back. Okay, let's try that again. Gonna murk the shit out of us, huh? What's this? Well, that is not natural. This is a precursor technology sort of thing. Silver. Okay, that's one. We are actually getting super low. So we're basically just going to go up and then back down. Oh, all of mine. Okay. Oh no. Just back down. Looks like a silver outcropping. But it doesn't give us silver. this in a second. No. Where was that? Oh, we just saw it. I mean, not that, but we'll take that too. We saw a red thing in the wall. That red thing. Oh my god. Table coral. Yes! You're so much harder to find in this game. Well, that's okay. That. Oh, good. Okay. Well, we don't. Now we don't really need to be down here, but we kind of want to be down here. Let's see what's going on. What's that? Stasis rifle fragment. Just enough to get- whoa! Oh, jeez, okay! We see we had been going quite a ways down. Don't worry, guys, the sea glide is awesome. It'll get us up to the top and back. Okay, guys, so now we have 
enough for a wiring kit, which means rebreather time. Now, frankly, we really like rebreathers because it keeps you from choking out faster while you go underwater. And that, if you ask us, is the bee's knees. So you just got to get back to your little crafty fabrication station. Get on in here. Hop on up to your wiring kit. Slip onto your equipment. We'll put our fiber mesh in the storage container. Safe plans, people. Always have a place for wherever you're going to put your stuff. <clears throat> Rebreather. Now, when we go far too deep, it won't screw up our oxygen supply like it was. Um, we're pretty sure we're going to want a battery in the future. So... I'm going to put that there for safekeeping. One battery. Two table coral. Our gold. And let's make us some more non-vegetarian water. Because that's one of our favorite types of water. At least in this game. Whatever reason, that's what this guy likes. You know what? Let's just accept it. Sorry, she likes. We, we keep forgetting that it's, it's Robin Goodall in this instead of... We don't know, whoever it was before. We, we don't ever remember his name. Let's get a fish. Let's drink some water, eat a fish. And back to adventure! To the mighty deep! Where all of the wonderful, amazing things in this world are held secret, away from prying eyes. Don't worry, children. We shall bring you. You shall discover them. And you shall see the amazement that is nature. Huh? Also, maybe a little terror. Who knows? Adventure! <laughs> No. We don't the spoopy noises right now. Oh, right. We were... Huh. That's fine. Let's go. We don't want to with you. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe not not just yet. We're much more concerned right now with uh, finding stuff right here than finding stuff in the abyss. <laughs> Which that was. We're all looking down. We're all like, or maybe not. Or maybe we don't want to go down and find Cthulhu just yet. Oh, dear. Uh huh. So we may or may not have been putting on the works. For this bad boy. Uh, so we gotta get back. And we gotta get back like fast. Before our sea go glide dies. We mean okay. We guess it wasn't that bad. But. We were cutting it close. And all 
looking for a place that we weren't even really looking for. Bladderfish. Never pass up a bladderfish if you can get away with it. That's what we say. Okay. So, long story short, we're going to keep this battery with us for now. Because it's very exceedingly likely that we're going to... Come back here, little fish. It's exceedingly likely that we're going to... Uh, need to change over a battery soon, but at this moment, we're a little less concerned with the depths and a little bit more concerned with this local area, because we're kind of thinking, what's all this then? Because we're kind of thinking it might be about time to start building some base stuff. Maybe right here. A flat, planar area. Got some salt deposits. Oh. Don't try to don't try to fight us. Okay. I don't see a hoopy fish anywhere, but that's cool. We always like getting a new critter. They don't seem to mind us. We're not posing any threat to them. Yeah, actually, this is a pretty nice little section. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, let's... Okay. R. It does, as a matter of fact, use more energy if you, uh, have the light on, for the record. All right, so we're actually going to go back to our little place. We're going to see if we can't figure out some kind of little arrangement. Because we need to start up. Crab traps are nice, but it's not what we want. We need to start up a little thing. We know that's a really... It's not helping at all. Uh, one moment. We had a... We had a... Alien data. Precursor bounty. Gain rewards for pre... Okay, whatever. That doesn't help at all. Equipment. Stasis rifle. It makes things stop. Oh, uh, we need to build to make a habitat builder. Well, off to go look at terrifying things again, we suppose. find a hole in the ground. That place was so much nicer than the abyss. No, of course not. We've just got to go to the abyss. Oh, 
further into the abyss. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, uh. How about we don't? Oh, we're at 200 meters. And that's apparently where things are at. So far, we haven't seen anything but explodey critters and oxygen plants and very spoopy places and deep chasms that we just really don't want to go to. So... We'd like some explanation. Some direction. Any at all would be super nice. I mean, we'll take some gold. I suppose that's... It's not exactly direction, but it is not. Look, we're on 200 meters down, and there is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Except this positively horrifying abyss that we really don't want to go into. Ugh. Oh. They said the place we're going is at the 200 meter mark, not below the 200 meter mark. Pretty sure we were at the 200 meter mark. Can we not have to go into the bottomless abyss, please? Got it. The worst noise. Okay. It is one of those things that you keep swimming and do not look back when you hear. Okay, guys. So, because we are honestly terrified of that abyss, like, it really, really makes us think about how small we are <laughs> in comparison to the rest of the world. We're going to go back and try to muse on exactly everything else that we could possibly do. We're going to... Look at blueprints. Uh, that seems to make a difference. Uh, we're going to... Look at... Okay, there's... Sanctuary Zero Location. Twisty bridges, area dense with macroflora, reaching the 100 to 300 meter depth. Uh, tubular organic bridges throughout the area prevents a permanent route to the facility from being established. It can be located at a depth of 200 meters, and contractors are advised to use visual reference locate to locate a visible path. The alien architects 
constructed multiple sanctuary facilities around 4546B. Their purpose was to store and preserve the aliens' mental states for later revival in case of emergency. While many individuals fled to these sanctuaries when the Kara contagion was released, most succumbed before they could reach one. Of those sanctuaries we have gained access to, none have contained viable alien consciousness, and it is further unclear what sense could be made of the data if they had. Okay, but what... What's the point of that? Okay, it, it is at a depth of 200 meters. So... We're confused. Okay. Oh, I really don't like this. Okay. So it is definitely in Twisty Bridges. Jeez, that is... That's actually really cool. Um... You know, we think we're going to end the Let's Play on this, because this was not in the original Subnautica. This is, this is very pretty. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely a high point. We think we're going to end here. You guys, you guys have a great night. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks.